My name's Natasha and this is my brother Brian. Uh, Brian and I are brother and sister and my brother has been re residing in the Young Care house now. This is coming up to two and a half years. He's now been in care with Young Care. So my brother was in the Australian Navy. He was overseas and travelling back from uh, India. They had been over with the Defence Force um, for around about six months. He was on shore leave for the night, so as everyone does on their day off, went out for a little while. Had been drinking with some friends and was offered a cigar over a bar, which unfortunately was laced with what they call China White. So the combination of the drugs and the um, alcohol together um, caused a major um, effect on my brother which caused him to have numerous strokes and um, caused him to end up with an acquired brain injury. So when Brian returned back to Australia, um, once he came out of intensive care, he was transferred into a rehabilitation centre um, and received rehabilitation for a few years. After a while, the funding for the rehabilitation stopped and unfortunately there was nowhere for my brother to go. Um, there was, the only option was a, a, as aged care and at the time of his accident, he was only 24 years old, so aged care was not an option. So unfortunately, he became stuck in the system. Young Care has given my brother a whole new meaning to life. He's got his own facilities now. He has his own private bathroom. He has his freedom to do his own things uh, in the community. Brian gets to choose what he wants to do. He gets to choose if he wants to go out, if he wants to go to bed, what he wants to eat tonight. Um, <laughs> It's those, it's those simple little things that we all take for granted that now have been back in the Young Care house, he has that back again. He's not, not being told when to go to bed. He's not being told what to eat. He's been given a new lease in life in the sense of that it's his life now. It's, he, he's a young man um, living what he wants to do and, and, and how he wants to do it. Young Care's mission is to work and find solutions for the thousands of people right across Australia at the moment that are living in inappropriate housing, but the young people with high care needs. The young care facility here in Wollongong is designed to be a home. The, the residents that arrive here and come to this, come here and live here have come from either nursing homes or hospital beds where it was very institutional. And the whole idea of this place is to, to provide a home where we all want to live. Uh, that's, that's the simple message. Our tagline is, young people deserve young lives, and this allows people to express themselves the way they want to. Uh, they can go to the pub, they can go to the coffee shop up the road, they can go to sleep when they want. They don't have to be in an institutional approach. It gives them freedom, it gives them choice. So you've just heard Brian's story, and Brian's story is very compelling. And it angers me at the moment that still in Australia, there are such, such inequality with regard to the opportunities available to young people with high care needs. So what the Broncos do is allow us to have a voice into the community to absolutely amplify the compelling need for young people with high care needs right across Australia, but in particular in Brisbane, to be able to identify with such an iconic brand is, is vital for young care. So I definitely want to put a big thank you out there for the Broncos. As I said, supporting young care is fantastic. As I said, my brother has life has completely changed with the support of Young Care. He's gone from not living a life to being existent to now living his life. And to know that the Broncos and Young Care have teamed up together um, to provide these facilities is just absolutely fantastic. And um, from our family, we just wanted to say a big thank you. Brian, did you want to say a big thank you to the Broncos with a big smile? Yeah. <laughs>